Hi, my name is Walter Montero. I'm a real estate and mortgage agent here in Cambridge, Ontario, and I've had the privilege of serving our community since 1987. Over the years, I've met some great people here in our community in many different businesses and walks of life. Some, of course, are well known and others are some of the best kept secrets in town. So the purpose of this podcast is to share and introduce them to you. Welcome to the I Love Cambridge podcast. Uh, no other uh, ice cream shop. So it's not real. It's plant-based ice cream, correct? Yes, it is. It's all, all right. coconut-based. All coconut-based. Oh, okay. Terrific. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about the shop. And uh, you guys are the new owners. Yeah. What a time to take over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect timing. There's yeah. nothing like a pandemic to, uh, to start a business in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I've never owned a business before. I worked okay. for the school board and then I morphed into a private college and the opportunity for this popped up. I think it was late November, early December. Okay. Um, kind of a, a, I don't know, a call for entrepreneurs, but not yep. really a lot of information to do with it. So I reached yep. out. And I got really excited about it, decided that it just, I really wanted this store to be ours. Awesome. Very good. So uh, how long was it in the works and when did you finally take ownership? Uh, we talked about it for quite a while and then I think we officially decided January, February, and then we okay. took over officially April 1st. April 1st. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then you guys are open for business, of course. Yes, we opened Mother's Day, uh, okay. kind of sporadic, short hours to make sure that we can meet everything for public health and whatnot easily. Yep. And yeah, now we're open full time. Very good. Okay, so full time is uh, seven days a week? Yeah, we're open Monday to Friday, 2 to 8, and the weekends, yep. 1230 to 830. 1230 to 830. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So tell us about plant-based ice cream. What's, what's the difference? Who benefits? Uh, yeah. Can I eat as much as I want and not gain weight? Absolutely. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm actually vegan. I've been vegan about three years. And oh, so okay. the old owners opened the shop just as I was transitioning. Okay. And I remember thinking, oh, it was meant to be. I can, do, I can eat all the ice cream I want because this yep. little store is around the corner from me. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, actually, we probably see more people or people with dairy intolerances than yep. we do people who would eat vegan. And I think the best part so far has been the little kids, little oh, ones yeah. who come in and they have a dairy intolerance or their parents have, you know, started raising them on a plant based diet and they can just come in and choose whatever they want. And they get so right. excited. There's no restrictions. Just have your ice cream. And it tastes awesome. good anyways. I know so many Very people good. are like, ooh, vegan, I don't know. But it just tastes like ice cream. It's just great. Yeah, I've had it. It's really tasty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. No, that's great. So yeah. uh, tell me, what are, what are the popular flavors down there? Do people have it on a cone? Do they have it in a cup? Like, how do they? Yeah. How, tell us about that. Yeah, we started off without cones. So when we first okay. opened, we decided we're just sticking with cups. Again, it was just kind of to make sure we had a good flow. We weren't touching anything that was going into anyone's mouth. People were comfortable in the store. Uh, the customers have been fantastic. I mean, downtown core is so strong and people are so amazing. Yep. So we, a couple weeks in, we were like, yep, we're good to go. Let's get some cones in here. So it's a solid mix. Um, as for popular flavors, I think people like to go to like, Cookies and cream, mint chips, some of those favorites that you really yep. can't find as a dairy-free option in the grocery store. Yep. Dairy-free, they kind of go like fruity or really wild mixtures. So here okay. you can just get some kind of fun, crazy mixtures, but you can also just get a cone of ice cream that you grew up eating as a kid and you really miss out on. Yeah. Awesome. Very good. Yeah, the downtown has been great. We've spoken to a couple of businesses down there. Yeah. Um, we spoke to the sugar daddies, of course, and then, um, the, uh, the people over at tiny cakes and, uh, they've been, um, uh, very grateful for the support that the downtown has gotten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh that's my great. goodness. Yeah. Both the customers and the small businesses, like yes. we were having 
were brand new. I've never made a batch of ice cream before in my life. Oh, and okay. then we had big plans to take over and have a few weeks with the previous owners. And then, you know, COVID happened, so everyone's plan shifted. Yep. Yep. Because we couldn't be back here in the kitchen with the previous owners. We we're just kind of looking at the machines going, okay, now what? Now what do we do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've I think we've nailed it. Good. Good. Yeah. So now do you, the ice cream is made right on location? Yeah, we make it all here. Okay, perfect. And so I would imagine it's fresh every day. Basically, yeah. um, I actually forgot to take our chocolate peanut butter off our website because we were sold out and someone ordered a pint. So I just whipped up a quick batch and very now it's good. ready to go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Very good. Now, um, uh, now you guys are doing this is uh sort of a part-time thing for you you guys are still working full-time in your your day job so to speak correct yeah kind of COVID had some wow. plans wow talk um, about jamming your day with more stress yes <laughs> yeah, i worked for a massage school and okay. we just found out uh last tuesday or wednesday right out of the blue for us that they were closing permanently Oh boy. Okay. Well, they've been around over 75 years. They're very well known in the massage world. And we just got an email saying, you know, the school is closed effective immediately. So we had definitely banked on both of us keeping our full-time jobs, but sometimes the universe has other plans and we're yeah. just going to roll with it, focus on ice cream, see what else we can do here. Well, that's, uh, I think that's probably divine intervention as they would call it, right? Right. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll good. see. You know, things always have a way of working themselves out. Yeah. No, for sure. Okay. So, did you guys have a sort of a, a propensity to be uh, entrepreneurs, or uh, how did this all kind of come about? Yeah, it's definitely me pushing a little bit. So, okay, like good. I had purchased, but yeah. I saw that Instagram post and it, it just struck a chord with me. I had a lot of stuff going on in my own world and I reached out to the previous owner and said, Hey, like, what are you guys looking to do? And I was really honest. I said, I've, you know, I've never owned a business. I don't even know that we're in a position to take over a business, but if you have time, I would love to sit and chat. Yep. And we sat, we talked and we hit it off amazingly. Yep. <laughs> it was one of those conversations. I had never met this person in my life. And throughout it, you know, there was laughter and tears, and it was just such a perfect fit. Yep. And uh, my it was just before Christmas, and we yep. went to a pub down here to do some Christmas shopping online, have a quick drink, yep. and we're working away. And I said to my husband, uh, so there's this thing that I want to do. <laughs> I want to buy this store. <laughs> and yeah, that was, about, that was the look. <laughs> um, and we talked about it, you know, all the, all the positives, all the potential negatives, and it just, everything about it was just falling into place so perfectly. And I really do believe that things come your way when they're supposed to. Absolutely. And it, yeah, it just felt like the right thing to do. And it was funny when my school announced that they were closing, uh, John was like, okay, yeah, thanks for, thanks for putting the store in our plates. Cause now, like now we just keep rolling. Now it's the next that's thing. Right. That's moving. right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You jumped to the next stone. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was unplanned, but let, you know, we're going to roll with it. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Yeah. Very good. So, uh, hours, uh, Monday to Friday. Um, yeah. I, sorry, I forgot the hours on the Monday to Friday. Yeah, 2 to 8, Monday to Friday. Two to, and then Saturday and Sunday? 1230 to 830. 1230 to 830. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Very good. So, is there anything that you want people to know about plant-based ice cream that um, that they probably don't know that you you need them to know no oh, that I need them to know it's a good question I the mean like I said asking you the same question <laughs> by the way she's holding up cue cards for me <laughs> oh you know what it's been my favorite people always let their dogs have the last couple licks of their cup and they oh, yes, okay. their pictures so he's just back there going where's mine when is she bringing it um, you know what? I think that it's it's a slightly healthier option for the most part. Yep. And it's delicious. It tastes good. It's here. So many people just live their day to day with upset stomachs because yep. they eat dairy, and that's cool. But if you can come have a treat and then not end up with that that bloated feeling, and yep. yeah, 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 no, that's nice. for sure. That's a big group. 
Yes, it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. That's great. Well, that's yeah. great. I, 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 I'm, I'm rooting for you. I think it's a, it's a great little business. I had, yeah. I actually, uh, for those of the, that don't know, your, your father-in-law lives across the street from me. Obviously, you yeah. know that. Yeah. And uh, when I heard the news, I thought it was great. And yeah. uh, you know, great little shop. You're in a great location. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think you guys, uh, you know, you're you're fresh blood in the place. And I think it's going to do great. Yeah. Hopefully, everyone has been so warm and so welcoming. People have just been fantastic, and I it's already feels so great. Like we worked fourteen hour days this past weekend, and I went home on a high. It just it's been fabulous. I'm really excited to see what comes from it, and we have some big announcements coming up in the next few months. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be a fun summer for sure. Very nice. Now, let me ask you, when you've, now you've been at it here for a few weeks now, yeah, um, yeah. anything that has kind of occurred that you just didn't even expect? I mean, kind of everything so far. <laughs> the, when we started talking about uh, purchasing the business, I did a really thorough job learning about the steps of taking over something. Yep. And then everything went out the window right from the beginning. Like we contacted public health and couldn't get an inspection because COVID and we couldn't get everything done. Yes. So kind of everything so far has been the complete opposite of what I expected, but it's all worked out. And it's been the really cool thing about owning this business is that I can mm -hmm. just be open and honest with people. The first day trying to use the debit machine, I was like, I don't know, I tested it at home, it worked. Just give me a second here. <laughs> it's like a Zoom meeting, it's supposed to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, just hold on. And I said, oh, no worries. I have nowhere to be. Like, everyone's just so, I mean, it's ice cream. It's it's hard to be angry in an ice cream shop, I suppose. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. You're in the happiness business, let's face it. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. Now, was there any questions that I should have asked you that I didn't? I don't think so. I mean, we're pretty new to this. There's not a whole lot of, of history right now, just a few yeah. weeks, but... Yeah. I think in a year from now, you're going to have a, it'll be a whole different interview. Oh, I hope so. Let's do it. Let's yeah, plan for, for sure. it. I'll now, make sure to upgrade Zoom first. <laughs> awesome. For sure. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, obviously, the name of the show is I Love Cambridge. What do you love about Cambridge? Oh, the downtown core is just so special. It sure it's is. It's so man. spectacular. Like we, so many people come in and they just... They know each other. They know everyone. They're so helpful. We were stuck on keto options and we wanted to figure that out. And Sugar Daddies was like, yeah, no problem. Give us a call. We'll talk you through it. Like everyone just has each other's back. And it's, awesome. it's a special place to be a part of. Now, are, are you strictly doing retail or are you doing any wholesaling as well? We're working on some wholesale things as well. Good. Uh, there's been a couple of restaurants who have been able to take on some ice cream with their takeout sales. Yep. And we're going to be working with a cookie dough company coming up. And oh, wow. someone has reached out to us for purchasing ice cream for vegan milkshakes at their location. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Oh, yeah. no, you guys got some great ideas there. I think this is a, a home run here. Yeah, I'm super excited. We had someone awesome. drop off some vegan cookies, a new up and coming baker the other day. And I messaged her and said, we want to sell those. How do we get those? We want to have all the little fun little vegan treats. Awesome. Very good. Yeah. Well, that's great. Awesome. Well, Don, thank you so much for being a part of the show here. And I, I know it was a little bit of a struggle getting on, but <laughs> hopefully it'll pay off for you. Perfect. Thanks okay. so much, Walter. Okay, you bet. We'll see you downtown. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely.